Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching Indigo Tech Tutorials. If you're new here, please press that like and subscribe button. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you should learn to code and what you can do to help yourself learn coding. What I did maybe when I was coding and also what I would wanna do going forward, like the different things that I would change maybe to learn faster, different tips that I've picked up over the years. So the first thing is just challenging yourself to build any app. You shouldn't be scared about trying to build any other, like any large app like that you use. Maybe think about Shopify, that's pretty large. That's something that I wanna build for a guide on my channel. But you, yours doesn't even have to be as like fully featured or built out as the full Shopify. It's just kind of something to inspire you on the type of app that you want to build. Because that's really what it's all about, is you have the skill, you have the ability to learn to code, and you have the ability to code anything that you want. So as a professional programmer, most of the time, if you're working for a client, you're just working on the same app every day, and you're building the features, you're not really getting to expand out. So they're actually, if, if you're a developer who only works on one type of app and doesn't try to create new type of things, you're just not going to pick up as many things. You still might be really strong in a few areas, but you're not going to get to see the whole, uh, like what it's like to work in different industries and to build custom software for them. Now, in my experience, I've just worked for a lot of different types of companies. And I've also always challenged myself to build apps that I wanted. Now, some of them are complex, but recently I've been doing it a lot more where I would just tell myself that I'm going to start building them and I'm going to sit down and actually do it. Uh, the first time that I did that, I started streaming. I was on Twitch and I didn't even know what to build. I was just kind of confused thinking about what I wanted to do. And then I got a really cool viewer who joined and they started suggesting things that I could build. And they, they told me about this one app, like a finance tracker, that's all, that doesn't even integrate with APIs. So it's not even like you have to sign in with your bank account. It's just an app that shows like your expenses and your income sources, and then does some pretty graphs. So he suggested that, and then I just started building it uh, with what I knew how to do, which is Ruby on Rails. I started coding the app and it came together pretty quick. And he was already blown away he said he usually codes in Next.js and React. And he was just completely shocked that I was able to put together the whole app in a matter of minutes and already have it displaying a nice finance tracker. So really, I think you just challenge yourself to build anything. Even if it's not even websites, if it's uh, desktop apps, mobile apps, if it's just open source software, game modding, challenge yourself to do something new all the time. And if you're ever getting bored or tired of one thing, just challenge yourself to do something else, switch it up. But it is good to keep coming back to projects too, because then eventually you're gonna have a huge app, like this huge repo that you've been working on for years or even just months, however much time you put in, it comes down to that, like however much time you're coding. That's the quicker, the quicker you're gonna understand, the quicker you're gonna learn, the, is, it comes from coding. It's like if you're gonna learn a new language or if you're gonna learn to write, you have to just do it a lot, practice. Like practice makes everything better. And another thing I would suggest is uh, if you're not building, if you're not challenging yourself by building apps, you could go and take coding challenges online and you can even sign up to be a mentor where you start helping others learn and you start reviewing their solutions. Cause after a certain point, you're gonna be pretty familiar with the language where you know uh, what code is good and, and like the different ways that people can improve. But that's one way to improve yourself as a developer to maybe start taking on some leadership roles or becoming more of a senior. You're gonna need mentoring experience. So if you sign up for Exorcism, I'll put a link to that in the description. They'll let you become a mentor and you can start reviewing other people's challenges and give them feedback. And then the only way that they can progress is if you approve their code. 
So it's basically just like real world. That's how it is when you work on a company, if you're doing code reviews, you actually have to approve each other's pull requests before it gets merged into the main app. So it's kind of cool that they built an app around that or a whole website for exorcism where you can go and actually code online. They have a, they have a editor, a text editor inside the website. That's pretty cool. You can write the code and then whenever you're ready, you run the test. When a test uh, passed, then you, well, then you're ready to ask for the mentorship request because that's the thing, like in coding challenges, usually in, like you would just do the challenge and then maybe get it to pass the test and then that's when you're done. But adding a mentorship step allows the developer to learn more and to improve as developer because when you're doing coding challenges, they are going to expect a really good solution and they're going to want you to talk about like all the reasons why you did it in this way and you made it efficient because that's what they're looking for when they get like a bunch of different applicants and they have the coding portion. They want to see who's like the best with the coding and who knows how to do stuff the best way. And also like they want to relate, maybe they're that type of programmer. So they would like that, but that's where mentoring comes in because if you're a user of exorcism, you can do the coding challenges. And then even if you got it right the first time, it might've been like just a bunch of code and things that were kind of over complex. And that mentor is going to be someone who's already done that challenge, who's familiar with it. And they're not going to give you the answer though. They're just going to kind of point you in the right direction and point out flaws in your program that are going to require you to refactor those and fix those, which will help you learn that programming language and just become a better programmer in general. So I think that's a really cool site to try out. And I know there's a lot of other similar websites that do uh, things like that, but Exorcism just has a cool mentor uh, dynamic to the website. Now, the next part I want to talk about is choosing a development language and a framework. This is really important when you're trying to learn to code and maybe you're trying to develop faster. In my personal experience, uh, the best one that I've used is Ruby on Rails. And you'll see in all of my videos, I'm able to generate like the basic layout of the app. I'm able to add users in just a few minutes, have the user sign in set up. Uh, it's mostly just CLI commands to generate uh, the different controllers and models. It just comes in really useful when you're trying to set up this app and also even creating uh, the classes by hand. You'll see me do that in some videos and it, it's really easy. Uh, the stuff is easy to remember a lot more than some of those JavaScript frameworks that just have so much going on. But this is also a personal preference. But if I was a new developer and I was looking at all the options for frameworks and languages to try, well, I would give each one of them a try if you're really interested. But if you don't have any idea yet, if you're just open to anything, if you're looking for the easiest framework, the best framework uh, right now, I would suggest Ruby on Rails because it just works so well. You're able to generate an app in seconds, really. You, you just say Rails new, and then you put the name of your app. It creates the app for you, sets it up. You can already go in, start up the server. And then from there, adding users takes a few minutes. Adding a home page takes just a second. And everything's really easy. And from there, you just think about what type of app you're going to build and where you're going to go from there. But if you watch my tutorials, I walk you through the whole process of building an app uh, from just having nothing, having a blank desktop. Then I go into the console and I start running commands, which generates the app. And then I do live coding. So you'll see the whole process. And I might even have an app that you want to build that I've already done on the channel. I've done a few, like I've done YouTube, I've done Reddit. That was pretty cool with uploading, downloading. You'll get to see all those cool little features that these sites have and how to build them. So that's why I think you could start with my channel. Just watch all the videos and get yourself familiar with building apps with Ruby on Rails. And also make sure that you download Ruby on Rails. That's kind of a tricky part in the whole process. I've had a lot of people give up when trying to download Ruby on Rails but you probably shouldn't even think about that. Just try to get it set up and power through it. And I'll probably create a new video on installing Ruby on Rails, like the easiest way to install Ruby on Rails. 
because I know there's not a good video for that right now. But yeah, other than that, just get coding, start building all of your dreams, and don't let anybody tell you that you can't build the next big app because they're just trying to hate, they're just trying to put you down, and you gotta stay positive and believe in yourself because if you watch me, <clears throat> I'm able to build YouTube in 30 minutes. I'm able to build all these sites very quickly so you can see that it's possible if you just put your mind to it you go in there with a positive attitude and then you put the app together and the more that you do it the easier it's going to be anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on how i would start learning to code right now i'll be creating a lot more content like this coming up as long as as well as coding walkthroughs